what, just three, four months ago? How do you feel about it? feel good. You know, I just started music about three, four months ago. I put out a good single, and I mean, they did the right thing, so I'm just here. Started as a booking agent for Dave East and Tory Lane, so I mean, I'm in Atlanta now working with Jazzy Faye and Drummer Boy and a couple other people like L.A. Reid, so now I'm just working. So how long you been actually doing music? Um, I've been recording since, like, July. Yeah. And you already got some? Let this be a lesson to you people. <laughs> no dream is too big, for real. It ain't, that's, that's my biggest motto to anybody. Like, a lot of people told me I couldn't do it, and I just went in and I did it. And I had fun doing it, and they signed me for who I am, so. Do you miss being, like, just a booking agent, like? Yeah, I definitely do, but, I mean, still people reach out, and I still connect the dots and do things and make things happen, and usually when I do something for an uh, artist, I usually end up opening up for them or performing with them anyways. So like being a booking artist, did that kind of inspire you to like be like, you know, I like this music shit, like maybe I want to get into it? Nah, it was definitely tempting, but um, I always loved music. I was just always shy. Oh, okay. I was shy, yeah. So like being behind the scenes, did they, did they kind of help you with your music? Um, nah, not at all. Cause like I said, I worked with like Tory Lanez and Dave East for like two years. My music sounds nothing like this. So what's the sound of your music? Um, How would you describe your sound, like your whole swag, everything? I guess it's like mumble rapper yeah. stuff. But it's like, I guess it's hot. People love it because it's like, it's it's it touches. It's like what everyone does. I don't do nothing above nobody's head because I'm trying to keep it real where everyone can relate to it. But people are relating to it and they're vibing to it. So you know what I'm saying? Um, where are you from, Borowai? Um, I'm originally from Queens, Jamaica. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I'm joking. Queens is lame. So much from Queens, you know what I'm saying? I've been a South Side nigga, man. I've been on something and got brewed like 18 years of my life that I went to Atlanta. What's your sign? I'm an Aquarius. And you shy? <laughs> I'm shy too. It's all right. <laughs> So I'm right before you guys. Different. I'm an Aquarius three ways. What does that mean? Break that down. My zodiac is an Aquarius, my sun sign is an Aquarius, and my moon sign. Yeah, so I'm a All of that counts. Yeah. Exactly. So like what is what are some other projects that you have going, like some other endeavors you feel like getting into? Because like you just started this music yeah, thing. I mean I got already a song with Lil Yachty and Light Skin Keisha coming out. I don't know if y'all hear them. Um, my boy Coca Van Go. We got a song, and I got a, uh, my first project coming out is Welcome to the Dark Side, and it's going to be pushed by Empire, New Hype Beast, and um, yeah, so I mean, my song right now is charting on like iHeartRadio and Spotify, so. So like, what kind of motivates you? Like, what keeps you going? Because like, that's something we usually love to ask on our show, because to me, it's such a humbling question. So like, what is it that keeps you going? Um, it's heartbreak. Like love heartbreak or like like love heartbreak and streets heartbreak I was broken hearted from the streets I you know I lost a lot and then I mean I had only about two relationships but they taught me a lot you know what I'm so like what do you say to the young boy or girl that's like trying to break into this industry they might not have an idea of how to do it how to get along you know and then are shy you know what I'm saying they might not know how to network and things like that like um I mean, shit, my music is really for the people like depressed and broken. So I am trying to show them like, yeah, you can captivate out of that. If you find something unique in yourself, just bring it out. Don't be shy because I was a little shy in my shell my whole life. Worried about what people thought. Don't worry about what people think and just be you. That's my advice. Be you. So my last question is, what is the mu most unique thing about you? Um, I think my personality. So... And I mean, a couple people just, you could just probably tell off the rip. People just see like some type of uniqueness about my personality, like, so. Yeah. yeah. All right. So you're dope. I love your energy and everything like that. Like, you seem real humble. I love that. So guys, make sure you stay tuned to Late the List Podcast. Hopefully we can get you on the show one day. You know, we have a one-on-one -on -one conversation. Guys, make sure you stay tuned.